Hey guys, what's going on? So today, uh, it was just released that the E Hero Structure deck is not coming out. And in fact, we are getting the Light Sworn Structure deck. If you want more information on that, I'm going to give you the link to where I got that information, which is mcall40. Uh, show him the love that he deserves for posting such the information. I do not want to take his credit for it. But in the day of Light Sworn and the fact that we're getting a Structure deck, that would be. I never meant to make an updated Light Sworn deck profile, even though I did one only like a month ago or so, but I thought I will make another, because I think I worked out some kinks, and yeah, so let's do it. Especially, I'm pretty sure, because the new Light Sworn deck's going to have this guy and that guy, so let's do it. Um, Garroth, Light Sworn Warrior, 3 Rocco, 3 Lila, 2 Jane, 3 The Wolf, because Wolf, spam easy, 3 Lumina, spam him, get into him, or him. <laughs> Or really him or him, it doesn't really matter. Oh, get a Stardust in here, by the way. Um, I don't know why it's in here. I kind of took it from uh, from a previous deck and edited it. Uh, anyways, two Celestria, two Aaron, one Honest, two Raiden, one Bacon Saber, which Bacon Saber is just Necro Gardener. He can only use once per duel, though, so basically you have four Necro Gardeners. And I like that better to have that one extra one, just my personal preference. I'm sorry, there's Facebook. Three JD, of course. One Dark Hole. One Charge of Light Brigade. Three Solar Recharge. Three Monster Reincarnations. Three break for Breakthrough Skill. You could also play maybe like one on Beckoning Light, but I always kept milling Beckoning Light, unless you want to play three Beckoning Light. But the three Breakthrough Skill, I feel like, was working better than Effect Veilers, and you can mill them off, and, you, and if you don't mill it off, you can set it, so I feel like Breakthrough Skill gets you a lot of negating action going on. Extra deck, two Michael Lights, one Arcs. This card's awesome. Not as good as JD, obviously, but he is pretty good to banish, and he's pretty easy to make. Black Rose, because he's easy to make. Um, level 8s are pretty easy to still make. Uh, like I said, you put a Stardust in here. I don't know what I am doing. <laughs> Utopia, uh, Pappy, Corn, Direwolf, Two Star Liege, Stroke, Fist Dweller, Gusto, even though I don't really ever would use him, probably. but And uh, Zen Mains. Uh, yeah, this deck is awesome. G uh, Light Sworn can sack like nobody's business, and I feel like nobody, like what's <laughs> Magra Cosmos, like pretty much gone, and Dimensional, I mean Dimensional Fissure pretty much gone. Like I don't know why more people don't play Light Sworn. I feel like it should be topping like crazy. Yeah, it can get sacked pretty easily, like right back at you. But like, I don't know. I feel like this deck is pretty goddamn good and speedy. I think a lot of people just don't play them anymore. Or maybe they do and they're just not talking. I don't know, but I feel like it's pretty good. Anyways, guys, uh, like this video, share it, and share the news about the structure deck. Go, like I said, go to M. Coles for his video. Um, play some JD, play some Flight Swords on Dev Pro, maybe build the deck if you feel so inclined, but I probably wouldn't because the structure deck's coming out in a few months, so then you probably would get all your cards then, but <laughs> not the point. <laughs> and uh, like I said, guys, thanks for watching. See you later.